Hello friends, installing updates on your Windows system is pretty much good practice to improve system performance. It provides a lot of benefits and make your system secure. But sometimes installing updates can also create problems and throw some errors. So today we are going to solve one critical issue that occurs while installing important updates on Windows. So this is the issue I'm talking about which throws an error with error code C. 5 times 0, 34. So first, let's see the causes of this error. There are several reasons behind getting this error. One of them is when you successfully install service pack and do not restart the system and then continue installing other updates. Now, after installing these other updates, once you restart the system, they get complete with the service pack and you get this error. The other reason is you might get caught in this situation while downloading updates or patches using WSUS. And let's see what are the after effects of this error. You might lose important data due to the file corruption. Your system may get crashed due to excessive memory utilization. First thing you need to remember that you will not be able to log into your system after getting this error. So in order to resolve this issue, you need an installation CD or a bootable USB stick of same operating system that is installed on your system. I had Windows 8 installed on my system, so I'm using with bootable USB for Windows 8. If you want to learn how to make bootable USB for Windows 7, 8 or Windows 10, then the link for the video is right below in the description. Once you are ready with the installation CD, insert it into the CD-ROM or plug in the bootable USB stick. Now start your system and we need to select the boot device. So the boot menu key varies as for the manufacturer. It may be F12 or Escape or F9 or F10 or F8. In my case it's Escape. You can even identify what key is used to get to the boot menu by simply paying attention. When you start your system, it displays the detail for about 2 or 3 seconds. Just like in my system, it says here, when I run this in slow motion, you can see, escape is the key for my system to get to the boot menu. So as for the boot menu options for your system, press the key. Now, from the boot menu, select appropriate boot device. If you are using installation CD, then select CD-ROM drive. If you are using bootable USB stick, then select removable device and hit enter. Once you select the boot device, your system will get start to boot from it. Press any key to continue and you will end up on this screen. Click next and then click on repair your computer. Click on troubleshoot. You will have multiple options under Troubleshoot. Select Advanced option and then select Command Prompt. If you are using Windows 7 Disk, then you might get the Command Prompt option at the beginning itself. First type C colon and hit enter. Here, C drive is the one which holds operating system for my laptop. It may be different for you. So select the directory accordingly. Type notepad.exe and hit enter. It will launch the notepad. Now go to the file option on top left corner and click open. Change types of files notepad used from .txt to all files. Now go to C drive, windows folder and winsxs folder. Now here winsxs is the folder which holds all the downloaded or pending updates for your system. In this folder, find the file named pending.xml. Right click on it and click on copy. Now what we are trying to basically do here is we are making an additional backup copy in case we need to revert the changes. Okay? And paste it there and use the keystrokes to paste it by using Ctrl V. Now select the original file pending.xml and click on open. It will usually take a lot of time to load because it's a huge file in terms of file size. 
Once the file loads, then click Ctrl F. Search dialog box will appear and then type the exact text that's appearing on the screen right here. That's 16 times 0 dot cdf dash ms. Okay. And then click on find next. Now here's the trick. You mainly have to focus on these three sections. Checkpoint, delete file path and move file source. So once we find our searched text, you can see this is the checkpoint section. Here's the delete file section, delete file path section, and here is move file source section. Okay, you may not have a delete file and move file source section in some cases. So what we need to do here is we need to identify if any one of these sections contain these text that's 16 times 0 dot cdf dash ms if yes then delete that section now be careful while deleting anything delete only checkpoint delete file path and move file source section so let me show you here i can see the delete file path section has this text okay that we have searched for and also the move file source section so i'm going to start selecting from the beginning of checkpoint till the end of move file source section you can identify the end by this particular symbol okay now as we have deleted these lines go again and search the same text as you might have multiple entries for this so search and delete every checkpoint delete file path and move file source that contains this text right i hope you are getting my point once you complete this simply go to the file option and select save now restart your computer and the error you were receiving will be gone that's it so if this method does not work, there's another method. The link for the another method is at the end of this video. I hope you like the video. Keep sharing it. Provide your valuable comments in the below comment box. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram on following username.